Welcome to uh, session 5B, Making Fun of Work, Social Media. Uh, we're starting with a short recap. Customer journey, well, we talked about this uh, so many times, we skipped this. Conversion rate optimization, KPIs, marketing stack, always be testing. Content marketing, actually uh, today, social media is a big, big uh, string of uh, the content marketing uh, branch or a branch of the tree. Um, so, uh, of course, uh, almost 80, 90% of what you will share on social media will be content. So it's a, it's a big thing. Uh, legal, Google Analytics, Google Tag Manager, very important. Uh, also, um, there is uh, an element today we'll, what, uh, from Google Analytics we'll discuss uh, concerning social media, and that's uh, conversion attribution. Because um, uh, if you review your social media traffic on a conversion basis by last click, so uh, the standard uh, configuration of Google Analytics, uh, you will uh, be deceived in most cases. We will talk about that today. Very important element, uh, SEO, on-page and off-page uh, optimization, on-page, um, the content itself, which keywords, uh, 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 content writing, uh, multi, uh, multimedia, so uh, adding movies and uh, images to your, uh, uh, embed movies and uh, images in your uh, posts, outbound links, uh, as well, internal uh, links to other pages of your own website, as well, external to other websites. Um, semantics, and of course, uh, the, the foundation, your architecture, URLs, internal linking, uh, microdata, load time security, um, and having all the meta tags set up right. And off-page link building, um, building authority and relevance by uh, getting a lot of links both to uh, your homepage as well to uh, articles and other deep links. Um, and social signals are uh, a, a signal of a likable content. So there is correlation but not causation there. Uh, then we talked about app marketing, traffic sources, uh, if you don't do uh, uh, an app install campaign, most of the traffic of your branding efforts will go to your website. From your website, you send them to your app store. They install your app. And um, if you set up uh, a good CRM with, uh, with the right uh, messaging channels, uh, you can engage them uh, during the rest of their customer journey. And if not, then um, you're blind in the dark. Um, we talked about landing page optimization. Um, think about your value proposition, uh, your pricing, umfeld, context. Um, have a nice uh, uh, image, uh, reviews and testimonials, uh, clear call to action, and uh, always be testing here because you probably won't do it right in one time. Then last Monday, we talked about uh, uh, trials and lead generation, what to do when a lead uh, comes in. Um, well, for trials, don't ask for credit card details. If you want a correct email, send them a confirmation link uh, with a login link. Uh, if you need phone numbers, uh, ask them with a uh, two-way uh, verification by SMS. Call them if they're in the trial straight away, really within, uh, within uh, seconds and minutes. Um, to, uh, to, uh, to guide them through their first session. Um, in the follow-up sequence, sequence during the trial period, a focus on functionality features and uh, uh, certain steps they have to uh, have done slash have to uh, experience so they know your product. So you, uh, with, um, with a, a certainty, you can say, well, they know 
our product and they didn't like it or they found another one or uh, it's not what they were looking for, whatever. Um, but you will feel sorry if they if you didn't got a chance to show your product. Um, and if needed, offer them a trial extension. Then we're going to talk about social media. Um, we're just scratching the surface here today. Uh, and why? Uh, in this hour, uh, it's an immense world, social media, that uh, encompasses almost uh, every element of society and human beings, with a lot of uh, stats being published every day. Um, we will not discuss advertising at social networks here. Uh, we'll follow later in the last five sessions, uh, I believe, six. Um, for now, assume you can advertise on everything a social network has to offer, um, both metadata as the data itself, target groups, etc. Um, know that organic reach for non-engaging posts, and so uh, most posts are not non-engaging, but uh, except you are doing an interview with, uh, say, Barack Obama or uh, whoever you like, uh, who is famous, uh, that will get a lot of engagement, but um, most posts will uh, go relatively unnoticed. Um, and it's a low organic reach, about 2 to 10% of your followers. And if you have a very low follow rate, say, onto 1,000 uh, followers, it, it's, it's a little bit higher. But as soon as you get uh, a little bit... Um, up the numbers, it, it, it lowers. And for pages, I believe uh, over 500,000 fans, it's, it's, it's even less, it's one and a half percent or something. Um, and assume always that your users uh, uh, using your social media uh, content uh, from a mobile device. Uh, it's not 100%, but I believe it's now about 95 or 90%. So um, just assume it. Um, monthly active users at this moment, 2020 stats, Facebook, uh, 2.7 billion people or 2,700 million, uh, YouTube, 2 billion, WhatsApp, 2 billion, Facebook Messenger, uh, 1.3 billion, Instagram, 1 point, uh, almost 1.2 billion, uh, Reddit, and uh, 450, 430 million uh, users on a monthly basis. Uh, Pinterest, 416, Twitter, uh, quite sm much smaller than I thought, 353, and Quora, and LinkedIn. And um, so you can say that um, on Facebook, it's always prime time, also on YouTube. But if you advertise on Facebook, it's like, uh, it's like uh, the, 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 the World Cup or the, uh, the fi uh, fi final series of the NBA or something. It's really big, big if you advertise there. Um, how much time is spent on a daily basis? Well, uh, a lot of growth the last few years at this mo moment. It's 144 minutes a day. So this includes uh, WhatsApp, YouTube watching, etc. cetera. Um, so not only Facebook scrolling or LinkedIn scrolling or whatever. So it's a lot of minutes. Then a chart for marketing, ch marketing charts, the e-commerce conversion rates by traffic source. Um, and here you see that on average, social uh, has quite a low conversion rate compared to other traffic sources, uh, but we'll get back to that later. This is uh, what you will see if you have a web shop, um, B2B or B2C, um, if you just look at traffic source. The data is from uh, 2020, January. Here we already have a little uh, different um, stat. Is uh, online media used for purchase inspiration? So um, getting ideas and uh, getting aware of certain needs or wants. Um, and there you see uh, on the left, social networks uh, are the uh, top media used for getting inspiration. Uh, 
and other sources are individual retailer website, price comparison, multi-brand website, visual social networks, uh, Pinterest, uh, Instagram here, I think. Um, and this, this uh, matches with a, 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 a small uh, research I did when for, an, uh, for, for a client. And we asked uh, uh, users, how did they get uh, ideas for uh, how, how we could uh, notice them if they weren't looking for it, there were only actually two ways, social media and email marketing on our own list. Uh, so it's quite small. Um, where do people follow brands they care about? Well, Instagram, Twitter, Pinterest, LinkedIn, Facebook, and all the all the sites. But it's uh, it's interesting to see uh, that the Instagram and Twitter uh, pop out. Um, Then uh, the weighing, not the conversion, but the, but the weighing, the weighing, where uh, websites, uh, e-commerce websites, get their traffic from, and also you see that uh, social media is relatively uh, a really small percentage of the traffic uh, a normal web shop gets. Uh, so they're not in social media for the traffic. Let's put it that way, mostly. Um, so how do you measure your uh, return on investment or your return on time or whatever metric you're using? Um, well, the value factors are, of course, uh, business conversion, such as uh, customer acquisition or lead generation, brand awareness and perception, customer experience, loyalty, employee trust, partner confidence, uh, security and risk mitigation. Um, it's like... Um, show the world that you're that you are uh, alive as a business how do you track these metrics uh, measuring reach that's uh, those data you will get um, from the analytics tools uh, the social networks offer um, same for audience engagement you can track it there uh, with uh, uh, facebook insights or the other uh, stat programs of the several social networks uh, site traffic, of course, lead generated, sign up conversion, and the revenue generated mostly you will get it out of Google Analytics or other tools you will use. Um, yeah. And this is uh, my slide about conversion attribution. Uh, we talked about it in the in the introduction uh, concerning Google Analytics. Um, the standard configuration of conversion attribution uh, in Google Analytics is the uh, left above uh, image by last click. So the last click before the conversion gets all uh, credits um, for driving that conversion. Uh, but you can understand if you have a B2B journey and um, you have about, uh, say, 15 touch points um, during the entire purchase uh, 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 cycle, or say uh, the first 10 touch points before somebody gets the leads is uh, through uh, the web, uh, website, social media channels, and other uh, digital resources, then um, last click attribution is quite a small, a thin way to look at it. Um, and so uh, several other models have been developed and you can uh, all um, activate them in Google Analytics. Um, why is this important for a social media um, viewer, that presentation? It's because you will see that uh, social media uh, mostly plays a role in the uh, front end of your customer journey. So inspiration, reach, and um, awareness, that kind of metrics, uh, things that you mostly cannot measure from Google Analytics perspe uh, perspective. Um, 
but you will see uh, it in a way like if you put uh, you only put on social media campaigns or uh, both paid and organic but only in social media uh, that you'll see a large uh, increase in, 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 in direct traffic and in branded search and if you didn't do anything else then you know hey this was my social media activity and nothing else Then some simple best practices concerning uh, social media usage. Um, always use hashtags to any post category. It's, it's, it's like a categories of metadata. Uh, mention people or businesses in your post. Uh, most social network uh, use the, uh, the, the at sign. Um, sometimes you just have to type in the name and uh, it catches it. Um, Always upload uh, video and images uh, native on the platform for the highest reach. So don't share um, a video that's hosted on YouTube or LinkedIn or uh, uh, your own video embedded in your blog post and then uh, upload it for if, uh, for, uh, on LinkedIn or the other social networks if you go for reach. Um, of course, be visual. Um, there are definitely uh, exceptions that uh, only text works good or better, uh, but in most cases, add visuals, photos, videos, and even if it's a, a simple white photo with a, with a small thing in it. Um, basic basic things. How often should you post per day? Uh, this is data from 2020. Um, the data changed a lot the last five or six years. Like uh, um, it was the more the better, but uh, there's so much content published uh, nowadays that um, it's more about quality than, than anything else. Um, so uh, this website, Louis M, uh, did some research, did a lot of research, and also uh, collected from other websites. Uh, this is. Uh, what she collected together. So uh, suggestions once per day on um, Facebook, 15 times per day on Twitter. That's why you don't have to be afraid on uh, when publishing on Twitter to uh, repeat um, content. So reschedule it uh, if you're using, use, using a planner tool because the timeline on Twitter goes so fast that uh, people cannot ca keep up with it. So. Don't worry if you post a few times, maybe not uh, the same day, but uh, if you have a really nice article, uh, post it seven days in a row on different times. LinkedIn once a week is a suggestion. Uh, Instagram once or twice a, a day, uh, sorry, LinkedIn once a day, uh, and Pinterest also a lot, 11 images per day to pin. The following slides are taken from an article from uh, Sprout Social. Uh, I recommend you to um, to go to that article because besides the global engagement, there were also, uh, I believe, five or six verticals mentioned. And those verticals were tech, media, nonprofit, and I believe e-commerce. Um, and the stats do differ. Uh, uh, so um, it's, it's, it's useful you, for you uh, to watch uh, to view, uh, view the article on Sprout Social. Uh, the link is in the presentation and also on the website. Um, no, clearly uh, during uh, working hours. Um, Posting on Facebook, um, Instagram, the, the wait goes a little bit later on the day until, say, uh, 9, uh, 9 uh, p.m. On LinkedIn, it's quite a short uh, 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 time frame from uh, 7 to uh, 3 um, p.m., so uh, some, somewhat earlier.
and on Twitter, uh, well, a long working day, I will put it. Uh, it also has to do with, I think, a lot of, uh, it's really a, a, a news channel. Uh, besides, of course, it's a common channel. It's also a big news channel for a lot of people. So uh, that starts a little bit early. What types of content can you post? Well, of course, you can post anything you like on social media. Um, and there are, uh, if you Google for it, there are long lists of ideas and suggestions. And um, But I thought I'm going to split it up in some... Um, goals you might have concerning your social media activities. Um, branding, uh, like for example, if you've got the funding for your startup, that's something you definitely want to uh, think about how you're going to promote it with uh, really nice uh, images, etc. Uh, uh, on, on your social media channels, awards prices, new team members, like uh, you've got a, a top-notch uh, uh, COO or anything else. Um, um, any milestone uh, you reached, uh, very interesting case studies, like if you have a client who uh, has uh, taken a video uh, testimonial, well, please share it on social media. Um, then you could have the goal to create pure engagement, and that's um, a more active way of uh, brand building and uh, getting rich. Um, you could take a, a stand or an opinion about something, ask something to your followers, contest followers, polls, uh, personal stories, um, quotes and facts. If you want to have traffic to your own website, um, Think about the, uh, and of course, everybody wants traffic to their own website, but not uh, like uh, a product or uh, or an e-commerce website, but more content related. Uh, think about content teasers, uh, share articles, uh, product uh, launches and updates, um, like a new release or something, uh, tips and tricks, uh, both in your market as well, how you can use your product. Um, Etc. And just uh, put the teaser on social media and the content uh, on your own website so that people, uh, if they want to answer, they have to click and uh, view it. Um, <clears throat> you understand that engagement, when people stay on the, uh, so one step back, uh, when people stay on the platform, the social media platform, of course, that kind of posts get on average more uh, reach because um, if you send traffic out of the social network, um, then the social network loses its opportunity monetize, to monetize traffic. So um, pushing that kind of content, um, well, they will do that, but only if they have nothing else to push uh, to that uh, specific user. Uh, so in general, Everything what stays on the platform, branding and engagement, gets a higher reach per, per cost or per, per post um, than traffic and leads uh, post. Of course, for leads and sales, uh, you can do content promos like a download a white paper, coupons, uh, campaigns, product updates, back in stock, uh, sweepstakes, webinars, job openings. Etc. And I mean, job opening, of course, not a lead of sale, but getting a CV in is, of course, a kind of a lead generation. Um, so this is not a final list, but this is, hey, uh, a way to think about it. Um, social login can really uh, increase uh, a lot of uh, uh, your conversion rate because uh, people use it a lot. Um, and for you, can, it can be a really interesting uh, way to get uh, your uh, signups up. There is good data about it. Um, you really should think about, well, 25 uh, to 60% uh, increase of your uh, signup rates uh, by implementing a social login. Then some uh, free 
uh, tools free uh, plans that you can use for uh, your day-to-day -day social media activities. Canva, it's a little, uh, it's a design tool for video and images. You have a, uh, if this, then that is, that is to automate all kinds of, uh, um, uh, say, exchanges between apps. So uh, if I put up a new blog post, then share it on uh, LinkedIn and another script to share it on uh, Facebook, etc. All kind of automations you can build there. Uh, Google alerts to... Uh, uh, to monitor uh, competitors and certain uh, keywords or events that you want to mo uh, monitor. A tweet deck, uh, social oomph, Hootsuite, and Buffer have all uh, free plans. Um, then I've also uh, some suggestions uh, for paid social media tools because uh, those free tools have their limitations. Their basic functionality is really good. Uh, but as soon as you're really going to spend time, uh, a lot of people do want something else. Um, here are some tools that I've uh, personally experienced with. Um, Agora Pulse is a really nice tool for uh, for, for social media management. Um, Hootsuite I also used. I use Buffer at this moment. Um, a fan, fan page Karma I use for a competitor research because they have a lot of for. Uh, their expensive plan, what is mentioned here, the 249, have also lower plans. Um, uh, you get unlimited uh, social profiles. So if you have, uh, say, 10 competitors with, uh, on average, uh, five, six uh, social media channels, uh, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, uh, LinkedIn, any, I forget. Um, then you can monitor it, get metadata, metadata about it, compare it, and it's really, really a fascinating tool uh, for that goal. Um, function, functionality you will be using, of course, publishing, listening, what I said, keywords in both hashtags, uh, engagement, uh, people will uh, uh, engage with you. Um, and uh, if you want to uh, have a, uh, also a history, uh, etc., uh, and then it's nice, you can reply and comment from the tool, sharing um, from your alerts. So if you have a nice, uh, you have set up a keyword for uh, an alert for a certain keyword and you uh, see a nice content in the timeline, then you want to share it on your channel. Well, that kind of uh, influencer identification, like if you have some people who uh, share your own content uh, often, or uh, who are following a follower of you and have a lot of followers but don't share your content, etc. Uh, sentiment analysis is really interesting. Calendar for planning schedule is really a must-have. Like uh, you don't want to be busy with that uh, uh, all the time. So um, planning ahead is really nice. Uh, managing campaigns from the tool is really nice, and setting up automations. This was it, social media. Um, I purpose, I didn't do some, uh, add some uh, best practices per social network because um, these dynamics change per every four months. So it's quite uh, fluid uh, content. Um, and that's why I put the generals uh, uh, Rule firms like uh, hashtags, uh, mentions, uh, etc. Uh, here. Um, next Monday, we will talk about lead nurturing and email marketing. It will be a quite quite deep session, uh, uh, both with how you will building your flows after uh, they did the trial or uh, they completed the form. Um, and they did uh, respond to your first call or they're too early in the, in the journey to uh, to make a call, uh, what you're gonna do with them then and how you're gonna set up your email marketing, email automation, or for the app uh, owners, other messaging tools like in-app or push or SMS. Um, that was it for today. Thank you for your time and uh, presence. Um, and for the people in the United States, uh, all the best. Thank you. Thank you. Have a nice evening. Bye-bye, guys. Bye. -bye, guys. Bye.
Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye.